match here at Group Gasoil Stadium for the offensive starters of young Indianapolis Colts. And wide receiver from Shonda Yu, number 87, Reggie Wayne. And at quarterback from the University of Tennessee, number 18, Happy to have you alongside to what should be a fantastic football showcase. The Colts playing on their home field, and they want to be able to keep this advantage going. As we get ready for this one, Chris, what is the key in this matchup? Well, and I think you hit on it, Gus, the home field advantage, because these two teams obviously match up very well against each other. So as the home team, you're hoping that you can sort of incite your own fans and get that energy in the building, because in a game this close, that well could be the difference. All right, Chris, with that in mind, let's go down to the field. We are ready for football. McAfee has the ball all teed up, and he looks ready to get this game underway. The stop was made by Glenn. They'll get the ball here at the 19. First down, 10 to go. It's the tailback. They tackle him for a loss. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. It's second down and 11 to go. They're going for the home run. It's almost picked off. Walter was the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 11 to go. Has a man short to his left. The Colts did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. It's fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. Fields it, and he's hit immediately. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. It's first and ten. Looking for a man. Has a man open in the middle. And he's tackled right around midfield by Allen. And we'll have a first down and 10. A dive. Gets the carry. 
He's brought down at about the 49-yard line by Ryans. Second down and nine. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hand off to the left. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. So it's third down, and they need 12 for the first. Here's a pass over the middle. He's dropped down right around the 44-yard line by Cushing. Not much indecision by the coach here. He'll keep the offense out there to go for it. Throws it deep down the left side. What do they say? You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time they tried to bring defensive pressure. The offensive line picked it up perfectly, and that's a big play. That'll make it first and goal following a big pass. A die gets it on the inside. Touchdown, Colts. Joseph Adai represents really everything a team could want in a running back. He always fights for the extra yardage. You never see him just running out of bounds. He's a tough guy. He's a great athlete. What a force. And he adds the point after. Indianapolis is up a touchdown. McAfee looks ready to kick it away. Jones is back to receive the kick. And takes off from his own goal line. Gets to about the 24 before going down. Glenn was there to bring him down. They'll take over at the 24-yard line. First down and 10. Looking for a big gain down the middle. He's tackled around the 48-yard line by number 33. Now we have a first down. And 10 to go. Has a man to his right. He's wrestled down around the 41-yard line by number 20. Daniels gains seven yards with the catch.
Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Pitch out. Hammered in the backfield. For me, there's nothing more impressive in football than to see a cover cornerback able to come up and make the stops on the run. That's a complete football player. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Brown is guilty of moving early. So third and nine coming up right here. Ball is on the 47. Short throw to the left. So they line up at the 47. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. He'll take over at the 20. Well, their offense will now come onto the field in excellent position, already leading in this game. The offense will take over at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Looked like someone might have jumped. That penalty will move them back a bit. Sloppy play right there. The one thing you learn as an offensive player is you can't give away yards. They are just too hard to come by. Brought down behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. That'll bring us to a second and long situation. Goes through his progression. And he's tackled around the 21-yard line by Pollard. And they pick up nine with the completion. Here they go. Third down and eight. Passes it short. He's brought down right around the 32-yard line by Ryans. It's first and ten. Steps and throws to the left side. He's dropped down around the 42-yard line by Cushing. That's a 10-yard gain. It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. Inside give. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line by Williams. Oh. 
They line up at the 48. Passes out to the left. He makes another catch. He's wrestled down at about the 37-yard line by Pollard. And we'll have a first down and 10 on their own 37. A die on the give. If you want to be considered one of the top cornerbacks in the National Football League, everybody has to be able to cover. But the top guys can not only cover, but come up and make big hits like that. Tremendous play. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. Ball on the 40. Going up towards the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. When a guy has a special receiver like this guy, he knows throwing it into the end zone. Usually, they're going to be smaller spaces. You're going to have to count on the guy making a great catch. And who better at it than he is? Mr. Clutch, Adam Vinatieri, adds the extra point. Time winds down here in the first with the score, the Colts. 14, the visiting team, nothing. Indianapolis will be kicking off. Jones is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. He brings it back to the 23. Blair White was there for the stop. They'll go to work at the 23-yard line. First down and 10. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Boy, it's tough enough to try and stop an NFL offense, but when you give them extra chances, it is almost impossible. The penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. Gives it to the back. And he's tackled right around the 20 yard line by Powers. It's second down now and 13 to go. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's brought down right around the 40-yard line by number 55. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. The ball is on their own 40. Inside handoff. Breaks through the line for a gain of seven. And two yards away here on second down. Go. 
Flips it out short. Catches it with one hand. He's dropped down at about the 41 by Hayden. They line it up at the 41. Surveys the field. Loads it up. Looking end zone. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. They'll face second down and 10. Ball's on the 41. Flips it out short to his left. He's tackled around the 33-yard line by Lacey. Eight-yard gain on that play. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. Our score here, the Colts, 14. The visiting team, nothing. Welcome back to Indianapolis. They'll give it off here. Loose ball. Indianapolis got it. That's our first turnover of the game. They'll start this drive at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Here's the give. He's wrestled down around the 50-yard line by Ryans. It's first and ten. Manning hands it off. A pickup of about three. They're looking at a second and seven. Ball on the 47-yard line. Has a man out to his right. Collie was his intended target. Offense looking at third down, seven yards to go. Ball is on the 47. Has a man deep. 
And he's tackled at about the three-yard line by Pollard. The big gain in the air sets the offense up with first down, goal to goal. A die takes the give. He's brought down around the three-yard line by Williams. Only a couple yards from the score. He's looking towards the left side. The ball is tipped away. Tammy was the intended receiver. Now third and goal from the two. Looking, fires it to the left. It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. They call on the field goal unit. He splits the uprights. So the score now, the Colts, 17. The visiting team, nothing. McAfee is just about ready to kick this one away. Johnson stands back to field the kick. It's fielded at the two. He makes it to the 23-yard line. Glenn was there to bring him down. They'll get the ball here at the 23. And we'll have a first down and 10. Hands it to the back. Robert Mathis was there for the stop. The coach can't be happy with him after that fumble. Priority number one has to be hanging on to the ball, right, Chris? Yeah, I guess it's so true. No team wants to give their opponent the chance to get a takeaway on a fumble, and I'm sure the coach will have a few choice words for him. You can bet the next time he touches that ball, he's going to be hanging on tight. Hands it off. He's dropped down around the 36-yard line by Bethea. First down and 10. Throws it over the middle of the field. He's tackled around the 44-yard line by Lacey. Gain of eight on the pass. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Fumble. 
Foster on the handoff. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Ops for a short throw. He's wrestled down around the 47-yard line by number 51. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Just barely gets rid of it. That pass rush didn't get there that time, but it got close enough to distract the quarterback and force him into a bad throw. Second down and seven yards to go. He's dragged down on the play. Wow, he looked like a cyclone down there getting to the quarterback. It is impressive when a guy that big is that nimble on his feet. He makes it look so easy, and it seems like he's past the offensive lineman as soon as the ball snapped. Tough to stop. I'm just amazed he kept his balance. Yeah, you know what's so incredible? He's running full speed and still has the agility to spin around the lineman, gather himself, and get to the quarterback. Just great athleticism. So they're facing third and long following the sack. Short throw to the left. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line by Bethea. And they keep the offense out there on fourth down. Short throw to the right. Well, that decision certainly backfired. The defense was ready, and now it goes back to their offense. You never know what kind of impact that's going to have on this game. We'll watch for it, but certainly a little momentum swing here. They'll take over at the 38. First down, 10 to go. Throws to his right. He's brought down around the 48-yard line by Allen. It's first and ten. Has a man open in the middle. He's dropped down right around the 38-yard line by Smith. Well, that's exactly what you need to do when the defense is blitzing. Get rid of it in a hurry. If you've got a shot at a completion, nice read that time. It's second down. They only need a couple of inches for the first. Third. 
This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Johnson is guilty of moving early. They line up at the 43. Checks down to the short pass. And we'll have a first down and 10. On the delay. He's tackled around the 28-yard line by Cushing. And two yards away here on second down. Passes it short. He's wrestled down at about the 21 by Cushing. First down and 10. Dumps it out right. And he's tackled at about the 11 by Ryans. Wayne gains seven yards with the catch. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. They might have missed time the snap on that one. Even the slightest twitch by an offensive lineman will draw a flag. You know, defensive guys really have a bit of an advantage. As long as they don't cross the line of scrimmage, they can jump and flinch and try and get that offensive line to react. The halfback with the carry. He powers it to the end zone for a touchdown. Joseph Adai is really becoming a bit of a show when he gets around the end zone. I can remember a few years back, he's jumping over the top of players, big plays in the playoff games, great runner in the open field. And once again, he shows his explosiveness and gets it in the end zone. Vinatieri is good on the point after. McAfee is ready to kick this one off. Jones is deep, looking to return the kickoff. Number 23 was there to bring him down. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. for it all over the middle really not a good throw at all that time but this is a guy that has struggled with his accuracy down the field and we see it again
They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 15. Someone jumped early down there. Well, no excuse there. The offensive line obviously knows the snap count, but <laughs> suppose it's easy to lose concentration with one of those big defensive linemen in your face. Looks for the safe, short throw. Walter was the intended receiver on the play. Backed up from their 10-yard line. Flips it out short to his left. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. Fourth down. Looks like they'll kick it away here as the punt. White picks it up at the 46. And the tackle was made by Cushing. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Johnson is guilty of moving early. So they'll face a first and 15 after the penalty. A die off the left side. Two yards. Facing a second and 13 situation here. Ball on the 43. And so we've reached the two minute warning. He throws short. He's brought down right around the 40-yard line by Pollard. Looks like we might have an injured man on the field. That brings up third and ten. Surveys the field. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. 
Well, you're going to have to gather the troops over on the sideline because whether it was poor play calling or poor execution, they never got anything going that time. So, it's fourth down. The Colts are lining up to punt this one away. The offense will start at the 20-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Looks right, throws. He's dropped down right around the 34-yard line by Hayden. Has a man short to his left. Brought down behind the line. Foster was the intended receiver. Still looking for an open man. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 36-yard line. Very risky pass. You never want to try and throw the ball across your body like that. Players in this league will come up with interceptions on that one. So it is third and eight. Ball on their own 36. Going deep toward the left sideline. He's tackled around the 19-yard line by Bethea. So it's first down, following the big gain through the air. Leinert gives it up the middle. He's wrestled down at about the 17-yard line by number 55. It's second down and seven to go. Ball's on the 17-yard line. Good coverage downfield. Daniels was his intended target. So another third down coming up for the offense. Passes short right side. And he's tackled around the nine-yard line by Brackett. Has a man to his right. And the pass is incomplete. Second down now following the incomplete pass. The offense will line up at the nine. Ops for a short throw. That's a touchdown. Just a great route that time. No way that he wasn't going to catch that football and score with that one. That was beautiful.
Rackers adds the extra point. Rackers gets ready to kick it away. Number 20 is back to receive the kick. The stop was made by Cushing. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt it away. They'll start at the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. On the ground with the tailback. Hammered in the backfield. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. From their own 17-yard line. Feeds it to the back. He didn't get back to the line. That'll be it for the first half of play. The score is to Indianapolis. Indianapolis will get it first here in the second half. Cam's under it. He will start from his own five. He brings it back to the 23. Nolan was there for the stop. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. is out to the left. He's brought down around the 37-yard line by number 29. And so far in this one, as you can see, this player has been the impact performer of the game so far. First down and 10. Ball on their own 37. Short throw to the right. He's dropped down around the 40-yard line by Smith. Wayne picks up about three with the catch. Second down and seven. The ball is on their own 40. Dumps it out right. 
Colley caught that one for a gain of six. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Those just really deflated defense. It's a frustrating part of the game, but you see it happen all the time. A guy tried to do a little extra to make a play. Throws to his right. Another catch on this drive. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line by Ryans. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. A die. Gets the ball. He's wrestled down around the 43-yard line by Smith. And two yards away here on second down. is out to his right third down coming up after that incompletion Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. Fires a strike to the right. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line by Ryans. They line the ball up at the 33. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. A bit of poor judgment on that play. You have to be aware of the situation, and that's a big first down. The penalty pushes them back to a first and 15 situation. Has a seam down the middle. He's brought down at about the 29-yard line by Cushing. That's now his third reception of the drive. It appears he's found a favorite target. You know, this receiver is just one of those guys that you want to keep busy. Some guys only want to try and catch the deep balls or the big plays. Other guys want to catch a lot of balls. This is one of those guys. He gets into a rhythm, and he can beat you. Deep pass. He wants the end zone.
We've got a third and six. Goes through his progression. First down, 10 to go. Short throw to the left. He's dropped down around the 13-yard line by Cushing. Nine-yard pickup on the pass. Offense will line up this one at the 12. Throws to his left. It's broken up by the defender. Garcon was the intended receiver on the play. The defense has been unable to stop him on third down so far. Let's see if they can make a stop here. He's going to his right. Throws. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one is from about 29 yards out. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Number 78 is guilty of moving early. This will be a 34-yard field goal attempt. The kick is good. So the score now, the Colts, 27. The visiting team, 7. Indianapolis is ready to kick this one off. Johnson is deep, looking to return the kickoff. And it's fielded at the four. Gets it to the 21. Tammy was there to bring him down. They'll set up shop at the 21. It's first and 10. Has a man out to his right. He's tackled around the 30-yard line by number 33. When you're facing a blitz, you're forced to make a quick read. He read it right and got good yardage out of it. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. Look out, heavy pressure on him. Nice job on the line by the Colts. Third down, six yards to the first. Hey. 
searching for an open man. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Fourth down. And the punt unit onto the field to kick it away. White fields it at the 40. Man, those guys were flying down the field. He didn't have a chance on that one. His blocker's got to do something for that poor guy out there. He's going to get killed. The offense will take over at the 43-yard line. And we'll have a first down in 10. And looks left. Throws. Garcon was the intended receiver. So they'll face a second and 10. On their own, let's say 43. <laughs> Dumps it out left. Peyton Manning. Has done an excellent job of leading the aerial attack in this one. Racking up over 300 big ones through the air. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Looked like someone might have jumped. You know, it's just five yards, but a penalty like that can really throw your offense off rhythm. You definitely have to now change the play call at this point. He's looking towards the left side. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and we're all over that one. It's fourth down. The Colts line up to punt. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. He'll take over at the 20. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. First down and 10. He throws short. He's wrestled down right around the 26-yard line. By number 55. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Looks right, throws, and he's knocked out at the 44-yard line. Owen Daniel with his fifth grab of the game. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Looking, fires it to the left. And he's tackled 
around the 47-yard line by Bethea. They'll get nine yards on the play. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Runs middle, running room. He's brought down right around the 36-yard line by Hayden. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll give it off here. He's dropped down right around the 30-yard line by Brackett. And just about four yards away here on second down. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Smith is guilty of moving early. It's now second and nine. Foster takes a handoff. He's tackled around the 29-yard line by number 90. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Passes out to the left. This is close. Did he come up with it? They say no, he didn't have it. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. And they'll attempt the field goal. This one from about 46 yards out. It's up and it's good. Neil Rackers has one of the strongest legs in the NFL as an offense. You know if you can get that ball down close to the 40-yard line and have some decent weather out there, he's going to have a good shot at making a field goal. Rackers gets ready to kick it away. White is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Allen was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 22-yard line. It's first and 10. Short pass to his left. He's wrestled down around the 30-yard line by Allen. Gain of eight on the pass. And two yards away here on second down. A dive gets it on the inside. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line by number 29. From their own 44-yard line.
A die takes the give. He's brought down right around the 44-yard line by Smith. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 44. for a short throw. He's dropped down around the 49-yard line by Cushing. The completion nets them about seven. Third down now. They'll need about three yards to convert for a new set of downs. They'll throw for the first. He's looking down the middle. Throws. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. And we'll have a first down and 10. The ball is on the 39-yard line. And that's the end of the quarter. Our score in this one is 27, 10. Welcome back to Indianapolis. First down and 10. Passes it short. The pass falls incomplete. Second down now following the incomplete pass. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Flips it out short. He's tackled around the 32-yard line by Ryans. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. They might have missed time to snap on that one. And we'll replay third down. Tough spot for the quarterback now after that penalty because now the possibility of seeing that added pressure is really heightened. Loads it up. Looking end zone. It's fourth down. The Colts ready to punt this one away. The punt rolls out of the end zone. So, Chris, what does this offense have to do to get them back into this game? 
They'll start at the 20. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Liner with the give. Sure doesn't look like he's running with the same explosiveness that we usually see out of him. Yeah, and I think that that fumble he had earlier has changed his approach. You can see him really trying to cover up the ball more, and you can't run like that in the NFL. A nice play there results in a big gain through the air. Yeah, and you see the defensive back try to make a play on the ball there instead of making sure the pass fell incomplete. This guy will make a lot of big plays for his team, but sometimes... It's a bit of a gamble, and that time it didn't pay off. And we'll see if he takes a more conservative approach the next time the ball is thrown in his direction. <laughs> Running out of time. He's dragged down on the play. So they're looking at a second and long here after the sack. He's searching for a receiver. He drops the easy pick. Walter was his intended target. So it's third and long. Throws to his right. Brings in another one. He's wrestled down at about the 49-yard line by number 33. First down, 10 to go. Fires a strike to the right. And he's tackled at about the 41 by number 55. That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Short throw to the left. Hit as he caught it, and he's able to hang on to it. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Someone jumped early down there. Number 73 is guilty of moving early. First down, 15 to go, following the penalty. Throws it deep to the end zone. It's almost picked off. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. It's now second and 15. He rolls out to his right. Williams was the intended receiver.
And it's third and a long 15. Ball on the 35-yard line. Look out, heavy pressure on him. I don't think there's any play in football that's prettier than a perfectly executed blitz. If you time out the snap count, if you disguise it, if you don't tip it to the quarterback, you end up with results like that, big sacks, big plays. It's fourth and long now after the sack. Goes through his progression. He's dropped. What a play on fourth down. The offense will take over at the 50. And we'll have a first down and 10. Throws middle of the field. Garcon catches it for a gain of five. They line up at the 45. Looks left. Here's a short pass. He's brought down around the 41-yard line by Cushing. Three. Call it four on the completion. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. Manning hands it off. He's dropped down around the 34-yard line by Allen. First down and 10. Ball on their 34. He's going to his right. Throws. He's tackled around the 23-yard line by Cushing. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. The Rock sitting at the 23. Searching for an open man. He's wrestled down at about the 17-yard line by Pollard. Clark picked up six with that grab. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Has a man short to his left. They take him down, but not before he gives the Colts a first down and goal.
It's first down and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. A dive. Gets another handoff. They tackle him for a loss. There are just some guys in this league that you have to run away from, but the danger in that is you run away from him and he uses his speed to catch you from behind. So they'll need seven for the score. They'll go with the run once again. And he's tackled right around the four-yard line by number 29. It's third and goal, and the offense is a little less than four yards away. A lot of movement down there on the offensive line. Johnson is guilty of moving early. The offense will line up at the nine. A die gets the ball. He's brought down at about the seven yard line by Ryan's. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up, and it's good. So after that kick, the score is now the Colts, 30, the visiting team, 10. Indianapolis is ready to kick this one off. Johnson is back to receive the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets this one to the 26-yard line. Number 20 was there to bring him down. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Has a man to his right. He's dropped down at about the 39-yard line by Bethea. Going up top! That was a pretty bad miss that time, and we've seen it from him before. He just cannot seem to connect on those long throws. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Flips it out short to his left. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line by Lacey. Jones picks up about maybe four yards with the catch. This one might have been a false start on the offense. Let's get the call. Number 64 is guilty of moving early from their own 38-yard line. Steps and throws to the left side. 
He's wrestled down around the 49-yard line by Hagler. And it appears that the coach will keep his offense out there. And he's tackled at about the 49-yard line by Johnson. He's looking towards the left side. Johnson was his intended target. So they'll face a second and ten. Two minutes left in the ball game. Looks like someone on the offense tried to get an early start. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. And throws a deep bomb over the middle. Just a bad throw, and it is an area that he continues to struggle with. Those deep throws just are not accurate. From their own 46-yard line. Takes a shot deep to the right. You hate to say it, but we see it game after game. He has to improve his deep passing accuracy. Looks like they'll opt to go for it here. Rolling out to his right. He's brought down around the three-yard line by Bethea. They go with the no huddle. Passes short right side. Daniels was the intended receiver on the play. And they'll line up three yards away. And it looked like someone on the offensive line jumped. Well, that's more than a little humiliating for an offensive lineman. Unfortunately, there's nowhere to hide after one of those. And yeah, they know national television is going to be talking about them as well. Dumps it out right. He's dropped down just outside the goal line. By number 20, Slayton caught that one for a gain of seven. Short throw to the right. Right through his hands. He almost had the pick. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. So a yard out, the coach will have to leave the offense out on the field here on fourth down and goal. Slayton gets it on the inside. He didn't get it. Stop short.
Manning readies the offense for what will be a long drive if they intend to score. A die on the give. He's tackled around the two-yard line by Barwin. Second down and seven yards to go. Manning with the give. He's wrestled down right around the eight-yard line by Williams. Pretty poor judgment on that play. You just have to be aware of the situation, and he wasn't. It's first and ten. Manning hands it off straight ahead. A gain of six. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. That'll do it from the field. We have top plays and stats coming up next, so stay right with us. And let's take a look at the Gatorade Performer of the Game.